And this is the really the instruction for, um, well, I hope it'll be a temporary um, or temporarily, temporarily <laughs> necessary set of instructions. It's, uh, we're in a transition period, a lot of, um, in, in terms of physics simulations or online content, there's um, a lot of stuff that's coded in, uh, uh, what are they, they called? Adobe Flash, um, Media something Flash, whatever the brand name is. Um, Flash used to be a big thing um, for those Gen Xers and millennials out there who still remember Web 2.0. I think uh, Flash is part of the Web 2.0. <laughs> and, um, and so there's a lot of Flash content out there, including physics simulations. And the transition part of that is that those contents are out there. And if you're using any type of modern browser, you can no longer override the security setting. It'll just say, you know, it's no longer supported. It won't give you an option to run it. Until last year, uh, many browsers were still giving you an option to run it. Um, just click through a few things um, and now they stopped it. Now, it is still possible to run this. And I think that's frankly why they haven't completely taken this down. And um, what the instructions here tell you <laughs> is how to do that. So, so you need two things. One, you need what's called standalone Flash Player. So this is the link to the Adobe website where they still host, last time I checked, um, uh, standalone Flash Player. Um, and you can also search for it. You just look for um, standalone Flash Player and I think it, it'll come here. And it has, uh, they have downloads for major platforms. Um, and it says a Flash Player 32. I'm pretty sure 32 refers to version number, not the big number. I think uh, newest versions of Mac don't allow 32-bit software to run anymore, but it should still run because this 32, very confusing number, it's a version number, not the bit number. So I'm just gonna download the Flash Player Projector for Windows, because that's what I have. Uh, huh, have I never downloaded this on this computer before? Uh, and I'll run it. And is there any warning? Yeah, there's no warning. It's just, you know, kind of like any app. Um, it doesn't, on its own, it doesn't do anything. Um, and, um, and so that's the first thing I need. I have that. The second thing I need is the Shockwave Flash file. And this frankly is why um, Flash is uh, being phased out is that people could, um, people could uh, create uh, the flash any or flash file that could do malicious things. So, so it was a security risk. The flash player was supposed to detect when things are doing malicious things. So the, this bypass instruction, when you're following it, you kind of should be, um, you should only do it when you can trust the sources you are getting these files from. Adobe, for better or worse, I trust them, at least not to you know try to hack my computer. So I've done that. And for the simulation file, I trust the FAT. It's, um, they, they're competent people, so their websites won't get hacked that often. <laughs> or if they, it gets hacked, they'll fix it quickly enough. So I'm going to get my Shockwave flash file directly from, uh, from the FAT website. Um, the instructions here are for this simulation, which is what you see me using in that video. I'm going to follow a similar set of instructions to get the file for this, um, this simulation. So if I remember the steps correctly, I go to the page, the simulation, and I attempt to view anyway. Mm. Um, and I think from here, I just delete this. Uh, by the way, this kind of depends on the structure of the website. Um, this just happens to be the structure of the Fed website they very nicely uh, have what's called the index enabled, as in when people put just the directory into their browser, uh, they just tell you what's in the directory. Not most websites don't have this enabled because it could be a huge security risk, but you know, they know what they're doing. They only put files that have no security implications in this folder. So they don't mind the people looking at the entire content of directory. Um, and here the file I need is the one with SWF for Shockwave Flash. Um, so this is the actual executable. That's the program. 
I'm gonna click on it to, yeah, I've downloaded it before. So I'll, I'll download it anyway. Um, and I'll just open the, this one with the one. So I think I have everything I need then. Um, so I got the Shockwave flash simulation file and um, wait. Oh yeah, once um, open this downloaded file in the standalone flash player, you are running, go to file, um, oops, file open and open it. Browse um, there. So, so that's it. Um, and again, just so that I'm not ignoring why all these tech companies are disabling Flash. Uh, Flash, um, you, it still has potential to um, have a security issues. It's like running any software, except Flash is like, a, it's like mice, you know, it's a vector for disease. It doesn't mean always they carry, they always carry disease, but you know, you have to know what you're doing. And um, if you are getting both of the Flash player itself and the Shockwave Flash file from the trusted sources, then your risk is minimal. But um, I wouldn't recommend uh, um, following this process with a kind of, random uh, simulation posts in a random internet forum because <laughs> that I trust. I don't trust everyone on the internet. 